Hi guys, so I've got something to show you. It's this. It's the, uh, the Teensy 3.1. It's pretty amazing. This board runs at 74 megahertz using its, uh, its ARM chip that it's got on here. I'll go through some of the details in a second, but I just want to talk out about how tiny this thing is. I mean, it's, it's actually, it, it actually is Teensy, it really is. Um, sorry about the weird intro. I was just, I just think it's pretty amazing. Uh, I got the, where is it? I got the uh, the little DigiSpark from Digistump a little while back, and that's uh, an 80 tiny 85 on there, so not a very powerful chip, but really awesome all the same. And I thought that was small, but this thing, I'm like putting them all over the place. Uh, this thing is, you know, it's only double the size of this board, and yet it packs in 74 megahertz. And in fact, you can overclock this to 96 megahertz, which is nuts. I got this thing from Cool Components, these dudes right here. Uh, I bought things from them in the past, they're a really great company. They're very competitive on price. Uh, you can buy these elsewhere, so you don't have to go with those guys. But I'll put a link in the description below so you can see where I got it from. Uh, it's not very expensive, it's about 20 quid. Uh, and for what you get, it's pretty amazing. Uh, and they also sent me a bag of Haribo as well, which is quite nice to them. I think that's one of their sort of offers at the moment. Uh, anyway, let's look at some of the capabilities of this board. So here it is, here's the, here's the Teensy 3.1. This one's a black version. Uh, in January of uh, 2014, this year, they changed it to a green version. So I've got the one that's pre-January 2014. Uh, there's no real difference between the two, apart from one's green and one's black, but apparently the, the green screen mask has got a uh, higher resolution to it. I don't know what that means but apparently it does. It's got a Cortex M4 processor running at 72 megahertz uh, and it's overclockable to 96. On the, um, on the idea at the moment, when you install the software, it does automatically overclock it to 96. It's not really a problem. People haven't reported any issues with it. It has 256 kilobytes of flash memory, 64 kilobytes of RAM. Uh, it's got 34 input and output pins uh, and the board run, it runs on 3.3 volts. But the pins on here, uh, you've got a load of pins running down here and down the side there. They're all, almost all, 5 volt tolerant. Um, there are a few analog pins, I think it's uh, A10 to A14, which aren't, three, aren't 5 volt tolerant and will only accept 3.3 volts or less. It has two um, analog to digital converters at 16-bit. Uh, uh, I think it actually runs at about 13-bit, which is usable. Um, and it's got 12 touch sensing pins, and they're along the top here, and uh, there's a couple along the bottom there. Um, and it has one bit, one 12 bit DAC, so that's a digital to analog converter, so you can have true analog output. There are 12 PWM pins, and it's got SPI, ITC, all the normal stuff, serial and stuff. Um, but it actually has two ITC ports, and it's got um, three serial ports, so you've got uh, them along here. One of the really interesting things about this board is, if I just turn it over, uh, you'll see on the back here that it's got that little white square there. That's so you can put a crystal on there, a uh, 32.768 kilohertz crystal to be exact. And that's so you can turn your Teensy into a real-time clock, so it'll keep time in the same way that if you just had a, a normal RTC it would do. Um, in order for it to maintain that time, you'd have to add a battery on there for that, but um, it's a really interesting addition to this board. Just as a, an interesting side note, there's my uh, Digi, DigiSpark from Digistomp, uh, and there's the Teensy 3.1. Look at the size difference. This thing here, I mean, it's got its USB included, obviously, but it's only around uh, twice the size of, of that DigiSpark, so it's very impressive. Now, the Teensy 3.1 has touch sense pins on it, uh, so you've got uh, 12 touch sense pins and they run along the top there and a couple on the bottom down there which means it has everything sort of built in to read capacitance uh, well capacitive touch sensing so I could just wire something up there like a little bit of a, a copper trace here touch it and it would read the, the capacitance value and detect whether something had been touched People have reported really good results with that and it's something I'll be testing and using in another video. 
Now you can put up to 5.5 volts into your Teensy. In fact, the voltage in pin is, is, uh, is that top pin on the left. Uh, so it's anywhere from 3.7 volts to 5 volts, and that goes directly into the regulator. And of course, you can power it through USB as well. And it'll kick out about 100 milliamps from the 3.3 volt pin, which is the third one in from the left. Well, thanks a lot for watching, guys. This is an awesome little board. I definitely recommend you pick one up. They're only about 20 quid. Cool Components stocks them, there are a few other places that stock them, um, so go and have a look. I'll put the, the link to the Cool Components place in the thingy down there, so that you can take a look and see if it's something you want to buy. Uh, I'm going to solder up some headers onto this and start playing around with it. I think the, the sort of touch pins, the touch enabled pins, are going to be very exciting to use, especially with like a copper trace and maybe use it like a little slider or something. Uh, and you could do that on normal Arduinos already. This is taking some of the uh, some of the hassle out of it, really. Uh, this this board's been used by a lot of people. If you go onto the their website, the PRJC website, I believe it is. Um, I'll put the link down there as well. Uh, you'll see some of the projects people have used. Now, this seems to be gaining a lot of popularity with people who use the addressable RGB strips that you can buy. Uh, it's WS something or other, I'm sure I'll put it up here so you can see. But it's gained a lot of popularity with those people, so it's, it's fast uh, and it's able to multiplex really well. So I think you should check it out and let me know what you think of the board. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll play around with it and I'll put some more videos up. Thanks.